Hey everybody, Rich here again with even more Linux crap, and today we're going to talk about the Super Key, which you know as the Windows Key, or the Flag Key, or the Windows Flag Key. This is the key on your keyboard, you either have one or two of them. It's, uh, if you have one, it's normally at the bottom left, directly next, uh, directly to the right of the control key, directly to the left of the alt key if you have a keyboard with a standard layout. Anyway, so we're going to talk about that. And Linux is called Super, because they obviously don't want to call it the Windows key, because that would be wrong, wouldn't it? So it's the Super key. This is a Zubuntu 11.04. I'm using Xface 4.8.0, 4.8.0, which I believe is the latest version of Xface. Although, in any Linux GUI these days, you can do custom keyboard shortcuts um, using any combination of keystrokes you want. But I'm going to show this in a Zubuntu because that is the one I know. However, in other Linux window managers, it would be similar to this. So I have um, a Chromium browser with uh, my Facebook page on it. And in the standard Zubuntu environment, you have two desktops, or excuse me, two workspace environments. And ordinarily, the way to switch from one to the other is with a control alt. Um, home and end, if you do control alt, end. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Look at to the top right here. I'm actually moving this window to workspace two, back to workspace one. If I click outside of that window on the desktop, it didn't disappear. I just switched over to workspace two because the desktop is what was in focus and so on. Um, to give you an example, let me just launch something else here. I'll do uh, my home folder. So if I want to move my uh, this window over to Workspace 2, it's a Control-Alt-End or a Control-Alt-2. Home and End are easy to remember because it's just back and forth. So I'll do a Control-Alt-End. And what I did is I moved to Workspace 2 and also moved this application window to Workspace 2. If I click outside on the desktop and switch back to Workspace 1 with a control alt home now I'm back on Workspace 1 and you can see the little miniature version of the current workspace in the little boxes up here. You can also click back and forth between them like this. But anyway um, it might be more convenient for you to instead of doing a three key keystroke to do a two key keystroke. So instead of doing a control alt home or end, maybe you want to do a super home or a super end or maybe super keypad one or super keypad two. So I'm going to show how that's done. Let me move this one back over to workspace one and now workspace two is blank. If I go there you'll see it is currently blank. In Zubuntu this is done via settings, settings manager and window manager, this icon right here. And then there's a tab called Keyboard, and all your keyboard window shortcuts, excuse me, are here. And I'm going to concentrate on just the workspace ones. Now, by default, they are assigned to Control Alt, and you see KP1, which is Keypad 1, Keypad through Keypad 9, and Home and End are also here. Also, just slight note, which I personally think is pretty sweet. I'm so glad they have a reset to default button here. <laughs> so if you mess up and you have to reset it, you can do it. However, that does not come without a complaint though. I do wish that I could just reset one at a time if I wanted to. Let's just say I make a bunch of them and I mess up one and I want to reset one. Well, I can't, or at least I didn't find a way to do it. Maybe that'll be in Zubuntu 12, I don't know. So anyway, the two that I'm going to modify here are uh, these two. Move window to previous workspace and move window to next workspace. So the way that my home and end keys are situated on my specific keyboard is that uh, home is left and end is right. So what I'm going to do here is for previous I'm going to make that super home. So I double click this and now it's asking me for the shortcut. So I press and hold my flag which is super left, that's what the L is, and then home and that's it. Now it's super home. And for this one, I'll double click this and I'll make it super end. So now what will happen is that if I do a super home or a super end 
uh, it will move either to previous or next so I'll close this one and now I will move this Chromium browser over to Workspace 2 with a super end and it worked. Now I know you can't see my keyboard when I'm doing that. It is working, trust me, <laughs> it really is. And so I'll move this back over to Super Home and now I'm on back Workspace 1. That in a nutshell is it. If you're not familiar with how to use workspaces in Linux, believe me, they're great, especially if you do not have multiple monitors. If all, like on a laptop for example, if all you're dealing with is a single monitor and you need to move stuff around and uh, like this and so on. Also what's very cool about it, you'll notice that the panel area actually shows whatever is active on that current workspace. So if I move this one over to workspace 2, that's all it will show. And if you're wondering like you're saying to yourself, well, how would I know if something is current? Maybe I'll forget if something is on a workspace. That's no problem. You just look up here. If you see anything in either box, that means something is running. The only time it doesn't is if it's in minimized state. So if you have something in a minimized state, it will not show it in the box. But if it's currently active like this, you will see it. I'll do that again so you can see. Watch this box up here. Minimize. Little box goes away. Maximize. And as a matter of fact, if I resize this, notice how it resizes along with that it's just nifty yet another cool part about the Linux desktop user experience so anyway to recap you would go to settings in Zubuntu anyway um, settings settings manager and to window manager and onto the keyboard tab and this is where you modify all your stuff and you'll notice that oh yes you can modify a bunch of stuff. Actually I'll show one more thing here. Two more things actually. I'll reset. Reset the default. Yes. It takes a second to think about it, but see how it changed it. Now let's just say instead of say jumping, uh, moving windows, you just want to have a quick keyboard shortcut. That would be this down here. You scroll down a little bit. If you want to go to previous or next, which is probably the one you want to do, these do not have keyboard shortcuts by default so I will go ahead and add those in. Previous workspace super home. Next workspace super end. So now what will happen is that even if I have a window selected this is just a shortcut to jump to the next workspace and that's that. So it's not going to move anything it's just going to quickly uh, via a shortcut jump to the next workspace and go back. So if I want to actually move this to the next workspace, I can do uh, the control alt end. Yes, and it moved it. And we'll move it back, control alt home. You get used to it after a while. It's something that once you start getting used to the way workspaces work, it's just awesome. Because you can just keep moving things around and it's more productive and you get more uh, real estate on your screen by just having multiple workspaces. So definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, happy keyboarding, everyone.